Hello there, Machine Dana. I hope you guys are doing really, really well. So, quick update on the hate raids that have been happening in the last month or two. They're still happening, okay? But the thing is, Twitch has been working a little bit in the background, hopefully quite a lot. There's been some news here. Apparently, they're suing some of the people that are responsible. I'm not sure how they were able to figure out who they were, but that's obviously a good sign. I've noticed anecdotally that there's less noise about the hate raids, which to me feels like maybe they're happening a little bit less, but they are definitely still still happening and the host bots and the lunar bots are still following lots of people but the good news is yesterday twitch put out this tweet and have basically enabled in the background some developments that can allow an enhancement on all the different verification methods to allow someone to chat in your stream phone verification on twitch is now here it's available right now and there's loads of different options that you can use here so on twitch now you've got a lot of different options to be able to basically limit who can talk when they can talk and how much essentially security you want in your chat whilst you're creating content. It brings long needed comfort to the people that have been worried about getting hate raids or even the people that have had hate raids already and are perhaps worried about them happening again. Personally, I've still not had a hate raid, but I have had a lot of the host bots and Luna bots following me. Thankfully, on one occasion where I got some racist usernames following me on Twitch, I was able to immediately press my panic button and it was able to mitigate a potential hate raid there. If you want to know how to set up some preventative methods on hate raids, check out this video here. This will give you a little bit more detail about the hate raids and things like that. You can also check out another video here on how to enable safe mode within Streamlabs. But in this video, I'm just going to briefly go through the new settings that are available for the phone verified users on Twitch and what I think should be the default settings for most Twitch users. If you do find this useful, please hit the like button. I think only like 3% of the people that watch my videos are subscribed. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why that's happening, but <laughs> also feel free to check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. Tell me about your stream, all that kind of stuff. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to get straight into this here. You need to go onto your dashboard and you can go to forward slash settings, forward slash moderation, or you can click on moderation through the settings tab here within your dashboard on Twitch. Now we're scrolling down to the bottom and it's all about channel privileges that we're talking about here. So Twitch channel privileges for email verification and also phone verification. Now this used to be just email verification. You used to be able to just require people to have email verification on their accounts. Otherwise they couldn't talk to you. Now they've split it out to email and phone verification. We'll just hover over this. Users meeting this criteria with a verified phone number will be able to chat and users with only a verified email will be will not be able to chat. The great thing about this is the flexibility they've built in so you can literally define everything that you need for email or chat verification on Twitch. So first of all, the default settings are what you see right here now, which is email verification is off. Phone number verification is off. Twitch are not changing the verification on your channel by default. So this is something that you have to action if you want it to change. And these will tangibly make it significantly more difficult for hate raiders on Twitch to do what they do. Now think about for a second what they actually do. Hate raiders will follow you and they will chat derogatory stuff, sometimes about your physical appearance or your race or your gender or transgender or your sexuality and that sort of stuff. So the emphasis here is about knowing who can follow and when those followers can chat. All of these controls enable a more control over that. If you want to open up the floodgates and just have maximum exposure on your channel, channel to hate raiders, but also to anyone being able to come to your channel and chat, including those people that prefer to not verify their email, not verify their phone. You can leave this exactly as it is now, as it has been doing. You then may be at risk at getting the hate raids. The thing is, the risk of hate raids in general now because of this might go down. The hate raiders may just basically look for new methods to harass people. So maybe in the fullness of time, these settings might be safe settings. But right now, I probably would advise against these settings. Instead, we're going to go on some chatters for email verification. Now, I'm actually going to choose to turn off first-time chatters on my cha channel must have a verified email. This means I'm allowing people without a verified email to go onto my channel and chat. But what I am saying is that chatters without a verified email must have had an account for more than, and I'm going to say, two weeks here. Now, what this means is there's a tiny chance that absolutely, completely new viewers on Twitch will not be able to chat in my channel for that first week or two. But to be honest, we are talking about the minority of viewers 
viewers on Twitch. The vast majority of real viewers on Twitch have had their accounts for a lot longer. They're not even having to verify their email at this situation. They're just having to have had an account that's at least two weeks old. Now, we do have the option to also have another layer here, which is chatters without a verified email must have been followed for more than a given amount of time. And this just means if the hate raiders have set up their accounts more than two weeks ago, they still can't hate raid you the moment they follow you, which is what has been happening on Twitch. Now, I'd recommend here either having a longer duration of time, like, for example, a one month period and turning this off or having a shorter period of time, such as one week and turning this on, but maybe keeping this quite short, like one to three days or something like that. Me personally, I think what I'm going to do is actually trial not having this. So it means people can have the verified email. I'm going to trial it at two weeks and I'm probably, if that doesn't work, I might try it at four weeks, a full month. I think that that's enough of a level of security, but to also not hinder any growth on the channel at the same time. You do have the option to say absolutely every single chatter on your channel needs to have had a verified email. Now let's look at phone verification. It's the exact same thing here. Now the thing about phone verification, there's a lot more people will have email verification than phone verification and you can have one or the other. You don't have to have both. I'm going to basically set up the exact same thing. I'm saying some chatters must have a verified phone number. I'm saying the first time chatters in my channel don't have to have the verified phone number. But if you are a chatter without a verified phone number, your account needs to be at least two weeks old. So replicating this here. I'm again going to turn off the chatters verified phone number must have followed for one day because I just want to trial what this two weeks does. Now this puts my safety rating according to Twitch at about a medium level. Now if we just have all chatters and all chatters, you can see the level goes up again and clicking on the first time chatters in either one will also put you at a really high degree of security against the hate raiders. Finally, just the options here are verified exemptions will not be required to verify. So if you have subscribers on your channel, they're not required to verify. VIPs not required and moderators. Now moderators and VIPs, you're fully in control of those. So that to me makes full sense to click those. That is literally, you're only giving these out to people that you relatively trust. As far as subscribers go, there's an argument to say if you're looking to monetize more, you could just have subscribers only. You could have it as an extra benefit that subscribers don't have to verify. The problem is there's a tiny chance that somebody could gift a subscription to a hate raid bot, in which case there's a little bit more exposure there if you do leave this unchecked. Now, finally, I'm just going to click on all Twitch minimum recommendations just to see what this actually looks like from Twitch. So Twitch is saying that as a minimum, phone verification for chatters within one week is what they recommend, which gives a moderate level of security. Obviously, the hate raids are going to find it very difficult to get genuine numbers that they can get two-factor authentication verification on, and therefore this is seen as a decent minimum level of protection. Me personally, I want a little bit more protection on this, so I'm going to say they don't have to have email verification, but if you don't, I want your account to be at least two weeks old. You don't have to have phone verification, but if you don't, I want it to be at least two weeks old the account because a lot of these accounts that have been hate raiding have been doing it on brand new accounts that have been set up within the last few days or week. I'm also going to exempt my VIPs and moderators because I know I trust those on my channel. And for me personally, I think I'm going to allow subscribers to also be exempt from this rule because I think the chance of a subscriber being a gifted subscriber being a hate bot and then hate raiding is actually quite low. So they're the settings I'm probably going to run with to start with, but I'll be tweaking these over the course of time. So there you go. Really, really good that Twitch have added this feature and that they've added it relatively quickly. I would argue this should have been there in the first place, to be honest. I would certainly argue that they should have done this a month ago, three or four weeks into the sort of epidemic of hate raiders. So there you go. Better late than never. Once again, please subscribe to the channel. Feel free to like this video as well. That will definitely help me and have a wonderful day. Take care.